Amaranth. Whew. Thank goodness I was able to survive that. Probably the best part about that is that you don't have to make that walk back, which is horrendous. <sighs> Sweet success. That's what it's all about, people. Now, I have another brigading. Wow, they don't even cure you? That is... Poopy. Uh, yeah. I'll put Brigandine on. For the most part, I can just do best, best equips. Yes, yeah, it's, it's probably the best. Silk Robe doesn't really matter to me at this point. Learned everything, right? I'll just tent once. Should be good enough. I guess I can do friendly. I don't know. I'm still gonna hold off from friendly monsters. The thing is, friendly monsters, none of it is lost forever. So I might as well just like put it off to the side and wait until I need the AP. You know, not bothering with this. It's just too expensive to to really bother with this. These types of fights, you know, there are certain fights where I can grind and I don't need to use MP. But fights like these, it's like the only way I can really kill them is to use uh, VB, which, in my opinion, really discourages uh, grinding at this point in the game. You know, once you have physical attackers on your team, like Steiner and Amaranth and those guys, you can probably regen a lot of your stuff with Chakra and uh, whatever Steiner's ability is. I kind of forget what it was called. Rejuvenation, that was it. Like, you can be kind of autonomous, but with Vivi. Unless you're stealing ethers literally every time, you're really gonna get caught up in the landslide. Again, we're just kinda plugging along, trying to make it back to Mayday and Sari. Counter it. It's killing me. Kill me, Smalls. Go away. So we're just going to Mayday and Sari. I should probably revive them. But you don't. I don't really care. 
Eh, I'll just ride him. Just, just for kicks. Just to be safe. Don't want to get wiped out. Uh, from what I remember, the Amaran battle is not too bad. But then again, this is hard mode, so... Fuck my ass. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to be hard or not. Woo! No encounters, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we better. I think you can save up here. I think. Uh. Yeah. No? Oh, that's right. Ah, that's right, that's right. You have to go see her. Because the jewel got stolen. Hold on, let me check that out real fast. I thought I got the treasures in here, but apparently not. WTF. Oh. Are you serious? I got the coffee. Let me just double check. Yep. <laughs> Freaking Lonnie. Oh man. Please tell me I can go back in there. <laughs> I think I already have one of those. Phoenix down. I think this dude gives you an exploder, one of the mogs, which is pretty pointless. I always remember getting it from him and being like, oh, thanks for nothing, butt face. Hell oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's a, I think you look inside first. Exploder. Let me, uh, let me see maybe the optimal equips I can get for Zidane. I think Brigadine is the best. Yeah. 
potion. Now, Rune Tooth casts poison. I don't know if he's resistant to poison. This is probably the best fight I can do. Maybe I should have evade. Yeah. Probably evade is more more useful than magic defense. That's for sure. So let's get man eater. Add status. I'm probably oh, I'm not gonna do add status. Hmm. I'll leave bandit on mug. I'm not too worried. Yeah, I do need auto potion. Counter. I think I might do add status. Hmm. It's either add status or MP attack. I think I'm gonna go with add status. Yeah, I guess I might as well just do mug too. We'll see. This should work. I guess we'll see. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Full HP. So. Alright. Let's do it. We should be good. I have a feeling this guy's they're gonna beef him up. But we'll see. Might be manageable. See how much damage he does. He might do a lot. I might actually. Hmm. You see, he's got auto potion on, but it might still do too much damage. Yeah, I might throw him in the back row. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. Hmm. Because he does have counterattack on, too. What What's up, bitch? <laughs> yeah, let's see how much this guy does. Actually, yeah, I should throw him in the back row. Oh god. Unless he is in the back row? I'm not sure. That's not so bad. Let's see if I can start attacking. The miss. The miss. Yeah, let me see counters. I'm just doing no damage this way. Hmm, I feel like this might take a while. Oh, he can counter you too. 630, it's it's always doing an even amount of damage, as you can see. Ah, uh, you know what? I have an idea. Hey, see how he's always doing 600 damage? Ah, uh, I think I have an idea. Yeah, I can, I'm just not going to do enough damage if I let this linger on too long. 
Yeah. Oh, I'll test out my theory next. Can't you predict? Yeah. I'm just gonna take the hit. Go back in the front row. Alright, I'm actually just gonna reset. Yeah, this is going nowhere. Alright, I'm gonna die, so. It's not horrible damage, but I'll just let him hit me. Hopefully he tells you. Just gives you the heads up. I guess you could pull off the trance, but I want to. I want to try something out because you saw how every time he was doing like 290, 230, 500, 590, he was never doing an. Uh, any other it was always ending with zero basically so I have a theory that I'm gonna check out so I'm gonna pause I'm gonna get in, get in some random battles and I'll show you what I do okay we're back so what I did was as you see Zidane is seven now if you see where this is going you probably can figure it out I need to heal him so that he's got at least one seven digit and we're going to abuse Lucky Seven. I actually need to throw him in the back row. One second. But you need to make sure you don't heal him. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna throw him in the back row. Take off. Take off counter. It doesn't really matter what we put on. Yeah, because I'm not attacking at all. What we're going to do is pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to fast forward the video to the battle. Okay, this should work. I've never had the ability to spam Lucky 7 like this before. The reason we're doing this is because I wasn't doing enough damage from the back row. Because Zidane really struggles from problems. Now that these bosses are having haste and protect, things are starting to get a little rough. So, I need to resort to things like this. See, what's going to happen is, as long as I don't reach my max HP, and I have 7 at the end of my... I'm going to do damage just like that. I just did 7,000 damage and he should be dead soon. So, if I can pull off another one. See, Lucky 7, how it works is if you have a 7 digit in any of your HP digits, it means that you're going to do 7, 7, 7, 777, or you're going to do 7,777. I just did. See, this is a problem now. So I'm healed for total HP. So I actually need to start attacking myself. Because he's always going to do damage in the multiple of 7. But as you saw, I just did 70, 7 grand to him. So this is going to do 1 damage now. But I think it's a Dane to attack himself. And honestly, I should have kept Zidane in the front row. I do not remember this ball having more than 7 grand, though. Hmm. Hopefully that was just unlucky. Let's see how much damage Zidane does to himself. Yeah, 245. I'm gonna switch rows real fast. Because I, I could have thought this out a little more. Auto potion. 
See, the problem is, if Order Potion heals to his max HP, then it goes back to being ending in 8 rather than 7. Let's see how much this does. Probably a lot more. But again, he is good on Order Potion. I don't know if I can Lucky 7 myself, because if I can, then that'll help. Yes, I can. So this right here is going to put me at 1117. That's another way to manipulate uh, for Queena for her limit glove. If you need to just do one damage, you can just do that. So. There we go with Lucky 7. Every little bit helps. And in case I need to, I can trance. Which I will be able to soon. I'm just surprised this boss has more than like 3 grand HP. Alright, that should do it. Lucky 7 is very good move, it's just, it's very difficult to pull it off well, but for some reason that boss was never doing more than, or never doing anything except an attack that ended in zeros. So that is one way to finish that battle. These bosses are getting really interesting. You know, Hilgars was tough, but... It took a lot of grinding, because I didn't have much in the ways of armor, but the Aoife tree was just like, brutal. Even if, at this point in the game, when I maxed everything I could possibly, I had to go trance with everybody and I barely, barely won. Alright, success.